Now, K-Gun 9 on your side first warning weather with meteorologist Aaron Brackett. Well, good Sunday evening. We've been following this weather system for days now. Far away, thousands of miles away, finally landed off the coast of California and now is slowly headed toward the Four Corners region. We've got thunderstorms through much of Nevada and Utah. Gusty winds in our area. It was a little bit windy throughout the day today, but you notice they're out of the southwest. Usually our winds come from the northwest or from the west during the day around here, and that means that we have dry conditions until we saw that wind shift a little bit earlier on that brought up some moisture and what it's also doing is overspreading the area with clouds and even a couple showers. We have reports on the far northwest side of a couple sprinkles coming down and even a couple strikes of lightning in northern Pinal County. Also toward eastern Maricopa County, and that lets us know that, yeah, these uh, raindrops are likely actually making it to the ground. As we go back a little bit further, the source of our moisture is actually the Gulf of California. We're pulling moisture from that and spreading it upwards. So even though you see a little bit of clearing here near the border, likely not the end of the activity. If this doesn't amount to rain for Tucson, we could see another round behind that. We still have those dynamics in place to support additional showers overnight. And the water vapor map shows that too. A lot of moisture to the north of of Tucson. You can see another little ribbon of it, though, to the uh, right around Yuma, actually, just south of Yuma, and that'll work its way toward Tucson overnight. So still sprinkle chances remain, and they could even be with us through the first part of the drive tomorrow morning. There's those winds southwesterly for most folks, 22 miles per hour in Sierra Vista, 13 in Douglas, and a little bit gusty up in Casa Grande, 21 right there at the present. So we look at dew points, Tucson reporting 21. It was a little bit higher into the 30s earlier on, 31 in Nogales. We're still seeing additional moisture spreading in, and these values well above what we typically see for the first part of May. So that does tell us that the storm system is nearby. Well, we made it to 90 degrees today in Tucson. 91 was the high in Casa Grande and still very comfortable through much of Coast. Cheese County low to middle 80s were found and now we sit in the middle 70s in Tucson. We see those upper 60s from Wilcox to Sierra Vista still hanging on to 80 in Phoenix, and we're not going to see that temperature fall that much tonight because of the additional moisture actually reporting a dew point of 36 at TIA. So we're correcting that earlier map. It is higher 24% humidity right there and a southerly breeze at 16. So look at the stats for today. This is impressive. We started our day at 70 degrees average is 57. So remarkable start right there. We were already well, very warm this morning, and here's what we're looking for going forward with future cast. There's that dry slot that we noted just south of the border coming in by 4 a.m. But I do think this model is underplaying the moisture just a little bit. I still think that we'll have the possibility for some rain showers as we go through the morning hours tomorrow after 9 or 10 in the morning. I think we'll be done with it. Stepping aside, we'll talk about tonight, though. 54 in Wilcox, 53 for you in Douglas. And as we head into western Pima County in the lower deserts, you see those low to middle 60s for overnight lows tonight. Here in Tucson, 64 degrees. Widely isolated showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. Otherwise, most of us will just see partly to mostly cloudy skies throughout the night. For tomorrow, markedly cooler, 83 degrees. We'll have that mix of clouds and sun. Still a couple showers are possible for the first part of the day. If you don't get wet, then likely you'll stay dry through the remainder of the hours tomorrow. 77 in Wilcox, 75 Sierra Vista for tomorrow. Notice the cool down really affecting everybody. Mid 70s in Bisbee, that'll be nice. So look at the seven day forecast. It's just the beginning too. look at these temperatures. We head to 81 on Tuesday. We're in the 70s in Tucson on Wednesday. That'll be real nice. And then another very weak system comes in Thursday and Friday. Starve for moisture, but still a slight chance of thunderstorms. And back to the 90s for the weekend. So is this 90s? really? Yeah. I